Do you push or pull your MIG weld? This is one of the most highly debated topics in MIG welding, and I want to hear from you MIG welders on this one. So pulling your weld is when you start with the gun face toward the beginning of the weld, and you pull that weld straight through with that gun angle remaining toward the beginning of the weld the entire time. Pushing the weld is when you start the weld with your gun facing the end of the weld, and you push that puddle across that weld joint with your gun remaining facing toward the end of the weld the entire time. So pushing and pulling have different characteristics too. Pushing your weld or forehand welding makes a more concaved bead face. It's a flatter bead face. It takes up more surface area. Not as deep penetrated as a pull, but great technique to use. Pulling your weld leads to a bit more convexed bead face, a little bit more buildup, in my opinion, but a little bit better penetration. I look at this as I do vertical up and vertical down. So if I'm trying to make a structural weld, I want to run vertical up. I want as much penetration as I can possibly get with a, still a reasonable, good, flat profile. When I'm running vertical down, I'm not necessarily looking for penetration as much as I am speed and coverage. So both of these techniques have their own benefits and their own downfalls, depending on material type, thickness, position, joint type. Are we manufacturing something? We try to knock out 100 of these, because if so, that push weld's a lot faster. Uh, so there's a lot of variables to consider when you do this. I'm going to take this uh, camera, flip it around, and I'm going to show you the difference in the profile between these two beads. And then at the end of this, I want to know from, I want to hear from you guys. Do you push or pull your welds? All right, so these are two T-joints that I welded up just a little bit ago. One is a push technique where the gun started off the angle, was pointed towards the end of the weld and maintained that angle all the way through. This one is a pull technique where the gun was pointed toward the beginning of the weld and pulled all the way through. And I'm going to zoom in here and show you the characteristics of the two. This pull weld, you can see, has a little bit of a higher profile to it. It's a little bit more convex on the weld face, and it's not as defined in the ripples. This has a little bit more penetration than a push weld. This push weld, again, you're going to find has a flatter bead face, covers a little bit more surface area as you move forward, and doesn't have the buildup that the pull weld does. All right, guys, so I'm hoping you have a good understanding of the difference between pushing and pulling your weld. Now I want to hear from you guys, you MIG welders out there, which one do you prefer? Do you push or pull your weld? Or is it scenario-based like mine is? Hey, I hope this tip helps, and as always, let's make it a great day.